the price was right, but at the same time, I knew there could be a lot of improvement done to it. So that led me to what you guys see back here behind me. How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Patriot DIY channel. Today we're going to be talking about upgrading your shop dust collection. For a while now, I've just been using the Dust Right dust separator attached to my shop vac, and I've just been wheeling that around my shop from tool to tool. And honestly, sometimes I just forget about it and let that dust fall wherever it wants to fall. Because of that, my shop has been a dusty mess, and I knew I needed a better solution. So I decided I wanted to go to a bigger dust collector that I could run duct work to all my tools in my shop but I'm still on a budget, so I couldn't afford some of those higher end dust collectors that some people have. So probably like a lot of you guys, I decided to go with the Central Machine two horsepower dust collector from Harbor Freight. The price was right and it seemed like it was gonna be plenty enough for what I needed in my shop. But at the same time, I knew there could be a lot of improvement done to it. So that led me to what you guys see back here behind me. It ended up being something completely different that looked nothing like the Harbor Freight dust collector. And essentially what we did was convert that single stage dust collector to a two stage dust collector and improve the filtration and the collection bin and all that good stuff. So we're going to get over here and we're going to talk about each part why I did what I did and how I set it up. But before we do that, guys, if you haven't done it yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, hit that notification bell and give us a thumbs up. We really appreciate that. And don't forget, we are gonna have links to all this stuff in the description below if you wanna get it for yourself. All right, guys, now one of the main things we wanted to do was get this mounted up on the wall and out of the way. So we started out with the motor and to get that mounted up on the wall, we're gonna be making this plywood mount that we're gonna mount the motor to, and then we're gonna attach that to the wall. That's gonna make mounting this thing a whole lot easier. So we're just gonna mark out and drill our holes, and then we're gonna bolt this motor to our piece of plywood. You can see I did screw in a block here on the wall that I could use to prop this up on and help me get it into place. Once I had it up on the wall, I just put in several screws to make sure it was good and sturdy. The next big component is gonna be my Cyclone, and I decided to go with the Oneida Super Dust Deputy for that. To improve the efficiency of that, I wanted to get this Dust Deputy mounted directly under the impeller. So the next thing we needed to do was to make a mount to mount it to the wall. We took a few measurements and drew out our shape, and then we took it over to the bandsaw to cut it out. Then we're just gonna clean that up over at the belt sander. Once we had the platform made up, we just needed to cut out a six inch hole in the bottom for that dust to fall through and down to our collection bin. Now we're ready to mount our dust deputy. And before we do that, Oneida is nice enough to supply this adhesive back gasket that you can mount on the bottom to make this a nice airtight fit. So we're gonna get that installed on the bottom and then we'll lift this up into place. Now the top port on the Super Dust Deputy is a six inch, so we needed to use a reducer to drop that down to five inches to fit onto our motor. Once we've got that in place, we're just gonna use bolts to secure that to the mounting bracket we just made. Now we did use duct tape up here to seal around those connections. And once we had our dust deputy mounted onto our bracket, it was time to work on our collection bins. Now the collection bin I'm gonna be using is a 55 gallon barrel with a screw top lid. And we're just gonna be making the connection from the dust deputy to the collection bin with some of this flex pipe. 
The main reason we did that is because we want to be able to remove this so we can take our collection bin out to dump our sawdust later. So to prep our 55 gallon barrel, we're gonna go ahead and use our jigsaw to cut out a five inch hole on the top. And we're gonna mount a flange on top using silicone and screws. The one thing we wanted to incorporate into this is a way to see what the level of dust is on the inside. So we're gonna use a hole saw to create a three inch hole in the lid. And we're gonna be mounting a piece of Lexan on the bottom of this with some silicone and screws. So that way we'll have a little window that we could look down in and see the level of sawdust on the inside. The next improvement I wanted to make was to get rid of those annoying bags and band clamps. So since our dust deputy and 55 gallon barrel is gonna be collecting the bulk of our dust, we don't need a very large collection bin on the bottom of this cylinder. So what we decided to do was to make a donut slash mounting bracket for this, and we're just gonna be attaching a five gallon bucket to the bottom with a gamma seal lid. Now this piece is gonna be made up of two parts. It's gonna be made up of an inner donut that mounts on the bottom of the cylinder and another larger piece that's gonna act as a mounting bracket so we can easily mount this to the wall. Once we've got our shapes drawn out, we're gonna take those over to the bandsaw and get them cut out. For this, I'm just using some scrap wood that I had laying around. Once we've got everything laid out, we're gonna test the fit and glue it all together. Once we're sure of the placement, we're gonna go ahead and screw and clamp that down. And so while we're waiting for that to dry, we're gonna take our gamma seal lid and we're gonna cut out the middle of it so that that dust can drop down into our bucket. We're gonna throw in a few screws here just to make sure we have a solid connection with our mounting bracket. Then we're gonna mark and cut a hole in the center the same size as the hole in our gamma seal lid. Once we have it cut out, we're gonna clean it up over at the spindle sander. And then we're gonna drop the bed of that sander down at an angle. And we're gonna use that to give our hole an angled opening that should help funnel that dust down into our bucket. Now we're ready to mount our screw top. To do that, we're just gonna be using some heavy duty silicone adhesive to create an airtight seal, and then we're gonna secure it with screws. Then we're gonna flip that assembly over and put a nice thick bead of silicone around the outside of that donut to mount the cylinder from our dust collector. Then we're just gonna press that cylinder down onto the assembly and that silicone's gonna create a nice airtight seal. And then just to make sure it's not gonna go anywhere, we're gonna drill and put in some screws to secure it. Then we're ready to mount this thing to the wall. And once we have it aligned right where we want it, we're gonna screw that to the wall. To help improve the efficiency of our system, we mounted that canister directly in line with the blower on our motor, and we just have a very short section of flex pipe between the two. The next big improvement we made was to the filtration system. 
So most of these dust collectors come with a filter bag. This is gonna filter that dust down to five microns, which isn't really that bad, but those types of bags are notoriously leaky and five microns still isn't gonna get that fine dust that really can hurt your lungs. Another big reason to get rid of the filter bag is to increase the airflow. Your system can only inhale the amount of air that it can exhale. So one huge improvement you can do to your system is to upgrade to a canister filter. The canister filter we're using is from Wynn Environmental and it's gonna filter that dust down to one micron. And because it's a pleated filter, it's gonna be able to let a lot more air out as well, which is gonna help improve your suction. Wynn is gonna send you everything you need to install your filter, including these little clamps that are gonna help you pull it down to that cylinder and get a nice tight seal. And now that we have our filter mounted, we're ready to go ahead and screw in that five gallon bucket to the bottom. Now since the motor is mounted up high on the wall, we also installed an aftermarket on off switch right here to operate the dust collector. I have a pretty small work area here, so I'm never too far away. Uh, so I think something like this is gonna work out fine for me, but I may decide to upgrade to a remote system later. One thing that actually surprised me once I got this all put together is that it's actually not too loud. It's really just a low hum, and honestly, it's much quieter than the shop vac that I was using before. Now let's see how well this does actually collecting dust. All right, guys, now that is it for how to upgrade your single stage dust collector. I hope this video helped you out guys and don't forget we are going to have links to all this stuff in the description below if you want to get it for yourself. If you have any questions or suggestions make sure you leave those in the comments below. Thanks for watching guys. Please like, share and subscribe. Keep that shop clean.